And here's Dan Colco with the Nats bullpen coach. Thank you very much, guys. All right, Matt, first of all, let's get a health status check. You uh, got a little calf injury the other day when you were running in from the bullpen. How are you feeling, and are you hoping that there are no more benches clearing incidents for a little while? Well, if, if, uh, if we were to have an incident today, uh, I'm going to try to hide in the bathroom up in the bullpen, but uh, I feel a lot better. But you know, it's just another lesson learned up here. I can't keep up with these young guys anymore, so I might as well just stay in the bullpen. By the time you guys get in to the field anyway, it seems like things are pretty much calmed down and you're just standing around talking. Yeah, it's, you know, you end up running down there together with the other bullpen and you end up turning around and coming back and laughing. But the uh, other night I felt like I got shot like a deer coming out of the bullpen and tried to have to play it off. But the uh, guys have been good. They've been giving me, you know, a lot of trash about it. So uh, hopefully I can get back, back health. Let's talk about your adjustment to a new role this year, now the bullpen coach. What, what's it like out there? How do you like the new position? And what are you, Just tell the people what kind of your responsibilities are on a, on a given day and during the game. Well, I, you know, before the game, I help uh, Steve out, McCaddy, with uh, the bullpen. So uh, just sit out there and make sure everything's ready to go. And then we have a scouting meeting the first day in, so I help out with that meeting. And then during the game, you know, you, you give them information, you get the guys ready, make sure they're ready to go, and then answer the phone and... Uh, see what the skipper wants to do, but uh, you know, overall, just just here to help out Cat and help out these guys when they're out in the bullpen. Soriano kind of goes about his business a little differently. Uh, quiet guy doesn't really throw a lot in the bullpen or throw too hard. Um, how how is he able to amp it up so quickly and and throw 91 when it looks like out in the bullpen he's throwing about 45 miles an hour? Well, he does a lot of stuff inside the clubhouse that goes unseen. Once he walks out here in the seventh, eighth inning, he's ready to go, and he does that arm exercise out there that, that a lot of people don't don't catch during a, in a given day. But he's ready. He's done it for so long. He knows what he's doing. You never question uh, how he goes about his business because he's he's uh, ready to tow it up every day. Aaron Barrett is a new guy this year that you guys have had up here. Um, you you worked with him down in the minors before. Were you confident in the past that his stuff would be able to play up here, or has his uh, kind of elevation to this level and his success been a, a pleasant surprise? Yeah, I thought last year uh, the way he progressed in Double A, um, he struggled with a command early of his fastball. He always had a really good slider. But towards the middle to the end of the season, he was commanding the fastball. It was up to 93, 95 miles an hour. He could spot it, and he had a nasty slider. And, uh, you know, we, but me and Ben Hart both thought that, you know, this guy could help our big league team at some point. And, you know, this year in spring training proved that he could pitch up here, and hopefully he continues to do well. We'll end on this. Uh, I, you told me the other day that you have a lucky sandwich. Yes that you go to when this team is in desperate need of a win. Yep. Tell the people what this sandwich is and how this all started. Well, it's, it's, it's simple. It's, it's a banana mayonnaise sandwich. Uh, you know, it's a banana with a lot of mayonnaise on it. You know, a lot of people think it's gross, but if you until you try it, man, it's, it's really good. But what it is, it's really a lucky sandwich. Our chef back home, he, he doesn't believe me, but I'm 4-0 this year whenever we eat it and we win. But you can't go to it all the time. Right. You guys just got to pick that spot. When you need a big, big victory, I'll eat the sandwich. So how do you how do you pick the spot? When do you know that this is the day to break out the banana man? Well, you know, a lot of people think it's when you're on a losing streak or not, but sometimes it's maybe the first game of a series. It's very important, and um, uh, you know it's just kind of on the field. You know I've did it up through my playing career and when I managed. So uh, you know hopefully I can keep that role going. Okay, we'll check in with you throughout the season, see when you're when you're eating the banana mayonnaise, and we'll kind of keep a tally of how the team does in those games. Matt, thanks a lot for the time. Appreciate it, Johnny and Ray. Back to you guys.